my poker peeps, it's the Hatter. And this is another hand coming from the 50 cent $1 private online home game that I hosted the other day. And just to jump into it and kind of recap, pretty much all of us play together a lot and know each other's tendencies and stuff. So I know that I got to change my style a little bit, do things a little different here to try to get action when I do make hands. So without further ado, let's jump right into this hand. Under the gun's going to fold. Hijack's going to limp in there. And Ace King, we're definitely coming in with a raise. So I make it 450. The button's going to fold. Small blind's going to fold. The villain is the big blind. He's very aggro player, plays super wide, could have anything at any time, but a very good post flop player. I want to put that out there. Just because he's a, he, he comes off as aggressive and maybe a maniac, he is a very good post flop player. So we're going to go ahead and jump in here. He's going to call, and the hijack's going to call. So we have the ace of diamonds, king of hearts, going to the flop with 14 in the pot. And it comes four diamonds, king of diamonds, jack of diamonds. All right, so we have top pair and the nut flush draw. So this is a monster hand. So I'm already thinking about how can I play this and be kind of sneaky about it a little bit. So it's going to go ahead and check around to me and flow. And I'm going to go ahead and, I mean, there. I'm I'm targeting like any if he has a jack if or any pair they're going to continue against me so I'm gonna go ahead and make a half size half pot size bet here and the main villain big blind is going to call hijack gets out of the way all right so now we go to the turn which is the eight of diamonds and now I have the nut flush so pretty much we have the best hand locked up right here we got the nuts and now it's like what can I do to try to get him to do something out of the ordinary. So I'm thinking when he checks right here, I'm thinking, should I check back or make a really small bet and almost look like I don't want to give up the aggression because he knows me. I, as soon as I give him the green light, he knows. This is like kind of leveling. So I'm trying to figure out what's the best plan here. Should I just check it back and hope he bluffs the river? Or, I mean, most of the time he's going to continue with subtime of diamond. I mean, it'd be really nice if he had the queen of diamonds, maybe even the ten of diamonds here. So I think about it, and what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to bet super small and hope he raises me instead of checking. So I bet one-fourth pot, and he thinks about it and calls. So now I think he does have a high diamond. So when the ten of hearts comes off, I'm really hoping he just tries to blast me off the hand. Unfortunately, he goes with a check. So this is where I ended up going deep in the tank, and we'll talk about that in just a second. So I'm thinking about, should I bet small again and hope that he senses weakness and tries to bluff raise me on the river? Or, I mean, checking back is definitely not an option. Let's just take that option completely off the table. So we're, are we going to bet super small and try to get thin value if he does have maybe like a 10 of diamonds? Or should I just go ahead and rip it in there and hope he has the queen of diamonds? So I'm thinking and thinking and thinking. Finally, I decide to go with, I'm going to bet super small. Maybe this will induce him to bluff. If not, if he does have a weaker diamond, maybe like the 10 or the 9 of diamonds, maybe he'll side call. So we go ahead and I bet 1450, which is really small. And he goes deep into the tank. And eventually he finds a call. And we don't get to see what he has. But afterwards, he said he was trying to figure out what I would tank so long for. So me tanking kind of threw him for a loop. He didn't think I would do that with the nuts. So I guess it worked out in the end. It was a decent little hand. Tell me y'all's thoughts. All right, see y'all tomorrow. Had her out. Gotta find my way to you.